Hi HCGers, this is HCG Berry Babe. I'm reporting for through day 8 on P3 and I'm 4.5 below LDW and this is the second time that I've been this far below LDW. My LDW is 162.7 which I had gotten down to 159s and then I had a cheat and I went up five pounds and when I stopped um, P2 I was at 162.7 and I mentioned that because I think something is happening if you look at my graph oh can you see the double bold lines are my um, P3 maintenance and you can see that if I drop the lines by two pounds I'm more stable and so what it, I was real the first time I dropped to 158 um, it was 158.5 which was virgin fat because 159 point something was the lowest I'd ever been <clears throat> um, it was kind of an anomaly and I went back up to 160.3 then 161.3 and today again I was 158.2 now I um, have been dehydrated I knew that and on Sunday tonight is Tuesday on Sunday I had tripped and fallen on my right knee and um, couldn't walk on it my husband had borrowed crutches from the senior center and um, I hobbled around on two and then yesterday I was able to get around on one and today at home tonight I'm hobbling around without any crutches but my knee is still very very sore I was just glad I didn't fall on a hip at my age that's usually the first thing that goes um, but I've been worried about losing in P3 because as you know if you followed me I can gain and I can lose but maintaining is hard so I think that if I don't go below the 158 um, mark I'm okay but you know on one hand it's well lose all you can and then on the other hand I'm terrified that if I don't stabilize in P3 that when I go to P4 I won't have my new set point. Um, with the surgeries that I've had I'm nervous about being able to stabilize without carbs. Um, I malabsorb about 70 percent of the fat I eat so eating protein um, and dairy and that sort of thing is about what I can do um, but I can't physically take in enough food and I'm not a veggie person and I'm really not a fruit person to eat more than one or two apples a day um, <clears throat> so Fat But Foxy says just go with it get off what you can and part of me thinks well okay get as low as you can and then do another round to stabilize but one of the reasons I wanted to do the HCG to get to goal weight was to get off A, abnormal fat, and B, to reset my um, metabolism. And so if I keep losing in P3 and this is my last round, I'm really worried about being able to stabilize in P4 for life. So that's... You, you've just, I've gone back and forth and back and forth. Tomorrow I'll probably be back up again three pounds and I'll breathe a sigh of relief and I don't know what's going on. That's what happened the last time um, and then I had this dip again. So what else is going on today? Um, was a pretty, it rained, it rained. Um, yesterday I spent the whole day laying down with my leg up. Today I just had to get out and my husband says, well let's go to Walmart it's the last day of the month there will be carts available so we this is just interesting kind of embarrassing my husband um, has arthritis and he's very large he's had gastric bypass but he put most of the weight back on so whenever we go to one of the larger stores like Walmart he gets a cart and he rides 
and I only do that after I've had surgery, but um, you can't get a cart the first couple days of the month because all the seniors get their social security checks and they come to Walmart and they hog the carts, the, the little riding mobile carts. And so, rightly so, but his point was on the 30th there should be carts available. So these two old farts had a date and we went to Kmart and we went to Walmart and we rode the little carts. And I'm not real good at steering. Um, that's a hot night out. Isn't that sad? Um, we were in an adjoining little town and they have an HCG boutique there. So I managed to hobble around a little bit to see what they had. <clears throat> And I found one thing, it was a Susan Graver, it was really pretty. Uh, had big purple flowers on it and it fit well and it was very dressy and kind of had sheer material and it had a matching shell underneath and um, if you don't know Susan Graver is a QVC label and they're usually fairly expensive, not designer clothing where you'd pay $300 for an outfit but um, you know this outfit was probably on a good day $60 but the colors were nice but they weren't special on me and so I hesitated and it wasn't half price um, blue was half price today and this was not blue I think it was a purple one um, and that's the little tag they put on it they have the older merchandise they put 50% off so if there's something that you like and it has the right color string on it then you get it for half price at Goodwill at this particular HCG boutique. So because I'm at the bottom, <clears throat> I'm becoming more discriminating. When I was very large, I would buy all sorts of things and say, oh, well, when I've lost weight, then this will fit. And when I've lost weight, that'll fit. And I've gone shopping in my closet a lot. Um, and it's been kind of fun, but I'm down to the bottom. I have a rack in the basement that has um, I, clothes labeled tiny, which if I ever get my chest uh, redone, um, they might fit. Um, but other than that, that's the only thing that's really going to change my size much. So unless I really like something, I'm not bringing it home, no matter how cheap it is. And that's, that's new. It's been coming on for a little while. Um, but it's a different way of thinking. Um, I've always been on my way to someplace else with my clothes. I've always bought clothes that were a little tight. And, well, if I just lose a little bit of weight, then they'll fit. And now if it doesn't fit, I'm, I don't, I'm not buying it. And it's been very unusual for me to see something very nice and try it on and it's too big so sad it's a good price it's gorgeous but it's too big so now when I go like I was at Kohl's the other day looking at the chaps stuff and I said to my daughter I said oh I'll buy this at well I'll buy this at Goodwill in two years when somebody buys it and then gets rid of it so um, I was heck I got a Norm Thompson um, catalog today and I was looking to see what might be available in a couple years because there's stuff I, I like very Liz Claiborne kind of straight lines sort of thing. Um, most of what else I've been up to today is last summer at Kmart I bought oh six or eight pair of those gauzy blousy pants and because of the weight loss since last summer um, I took two inches up uh, an inch an inch seam all the way up and around the inseam on all of those pants and all those pants I bought at Kmart with this most recent lower lower weights, I've been thinking, gee, I wonder if I should have gotten the tens after all. But they were all 40% off tonight. I'm going to have to double check and see if I got them for 20% off or 30% off. 30% off is not worth the gas to drive back. But 40% off. So if you're in the need for some nice, they had some nice polished cotton capris, 40% um, off. The Jacqueline Smith is 40% off this week at Kmart. Um, so that's it. I'm on what? I've been through nine days of P3. Um, not quite, I'm, I'm a third of the way plus a couple of, a couple
couple of days. Um, I did buy some whole grain things today to put aside. Um, danger, 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 you know, it's like, okay, I'm worried that in order to maintain, I'm going to have to add some carbs. Um, and I have to think that that would be okay with Simeon's because the whole idea of not adding carbs was that you needed to stay in your, your zone. And so, I don't know. We'll just ride, we're riding the roller coaster and um, we'll see where it ends up. So, sorry this has gone on kind of long. That's all I have. Bye-bye for now.